What is up guys and welcome back to the channel today. I'm back with a brand new tactic. It's a new variation of a 4-2-3-1 which can get you goals and win you titles. It is Murphem's ultimate 4-2-3-1 formation. Before we dive over there and have a look at the tactic, if you're new around here and you haven't already, make sure you're subscribing to the channel and of course liking this video if you enjoy the tactics. Let's dive into our first team. Let's go have a look at Bolton Wanderers over in League 2 and see how they got on with this new 4-2-3-1 system. So we come in, team number one, Bolton. I made that mistake there in the intro. They're not actually in Skybet League 2. They're in the Skybet League 1, so congrats, Bolton. You're doing better than what I thought you were doing. But Bolton, yeah, they're predicted 8th in the league this season, in the season preview previously. And the season's now over, and they've done one better than that because they've actually won the Skybet League 1. We've seen that from the league table here. Bolton winning. Winning 35 out of their 46 games this season. An absolute monster season for Bolton. See them get promoted and win the league title. You can see now the full stats on screen there. In 46 games, they won 35 of them. Only drawing seven, losing four games all season. Scoring 95 league goals in the Skybet League 1. That's not a bad return. Getting 112 points in that first season. Not a bad season, really. I mean, FA Cup knocked out by Chelsea. Getting as far as the third round, though, and being knocked out by Chelsea. And the Carabao, again, getting to the third round, being knocked out by Brentford. So the Premier League clubs, the only clubs that could stop Bolton in the cup competitions. But it's this man, Dion Charles, who stole all the headlines this season for Bolton with his goal-scoring premise. You can see in the league alone, in 45 appearances in the league, he bagged 42 goals. But the bottom of the screen now, you can see right down here as well, in 49 games, he got 49 goals. What a return for the 325k they bought him in last season in real life. What a return in League One here for Bolton for Dion Scholes in that striking position. Another thing about this formation as well, it loves finding those defenders from set pieces. Ricardo Santos here, the centre back for Bolton, 27 years of age, six foot five, jumping reach of 16, heading of 15. He's a big guy. He's a target for set pieces. You can see why though, because straight away he bagged 16 goals this season, coming in from centre back. So absolutely incredible seeing a guy in centre back win those set pieces and getting lots of goals. I mean, along the charts that you can see as well then. Dan and Dula got 11 goals a season for 6 assists, 10 assists and 6 goals for Carl Dempsey. So a very good return from our first team here. We sent a worship Bolton, so now let's go have a look at La Liga. We're going to try this formation now over with Valencia. So for any of you that follow Spanish football, you know right now Valencia are struggling with massive financial problems. They're struggling in lots and lots of debt and they've been underperforming for a couple of seasons now. You can see the season preview here. They're predicted to get 6th in the league this season, a 50 to 1 chance of winning the league. But we did one better than that because we actually went and won the league with Valencia, which came all the way to the league title in one season. No transfers, no funny business. They went all the way and won the league title in 38 games, winning 28 games, drawing eight, and only losing two games all season to Real Madrid and Athletic Bilbao. Not a bad return at all, really. Scoring 90 goals, conceding 31, so a few more than the likes of Real Madrid and Athletic Bilbao. Bilbao having a great season, by the way, getting further ahead of Barca. But again, 92 points. They were well clear of Real Madrid in the end of that season. But it wasn't just that Valencia won, though. They won the treble. They won the Copa del Rey. And they won the Super Copa de España as well. So a treble winning season for Valencia using this tactic. Absolutely insane results. Edison Cavani being one of the standouts this season. At age 36, he still bagged at 25 goals in 33 appearances in the league. That is a hell of a return for the aging striker now. I mean, he's seen total this season. 40 gear here and see as well. 40 minutes, 28 goals. That is not a bad return at age 36 for big Edison Cavani. He still has a lot to offer and a lot of goals in himself at the age of 36 in FM23. There's a notable sign that Plage probably mentioned as well. Jose Gaia this season getting 24 assists. Got one goal in that fullback position, but 24 assists in one season from a left back is absolutely insane. So I love to see here as well. You got Gerrara getting 16 goals and six assists. Almeida getting 12, 12 goals, sorry, Dicabi as well, 12 goals. We mentioned centre-backs earlier on in this video at Bolton. Centre-backs love this formation because they can get off the corners and them set pieces are clinical, absolutely clinical. A lot of goals for Dicabi in that back line. Uh, Lino as well, 12 goals, 4 assists, and Justin Clover in a line, of course, from Roma, my own Roma, of course, 9 goals and 9 assists for him. So now we're going back to England to see our far team for this formation, and we actually went to West Ham United to see just how good this can work with West Ham. We've seen how it works with Bolton and Valencia. It's one league titles in testing with the likes of Napoli and Benfica as well. But for our final test, we thought, let's put it to real test. Let's take it to West Ham United. So the thing with simulations are, of course, you can get different results every time you put them through. You put it on holiday and see what comes out from your tactic. And this one absolutely blew my mind because it actually did absolute bits for West Ham. It won West Ham everything apart from the Carabao Cup. 
I can't explain it. On 81 points, West Ham won the Premier League. We'll get a bit more into that in a moment. They won the UEFA Conference League. You can see here now, they actually won that beating Cologne 3-0 in the final. Kurt Zuma getting 10 goals. We mentioned those set pieces. And again, they won the FA Cup this time around. Beating West, I'm sorry, beating Brentford. But we are West Ham. They beat Brentford in the FA Cup final. So something happened there to see some of the other teams. I mean, let's go to the quarterfinals. The likes of Liverpool was at Chelsea. So big teams playing each other. Brentford knocking out Man United. Southampton, Leicester, Fulham. So some of the bigger teams like Man City knocked out a lot early on the round. It does seem in this competition this time round. Again, they lost to Southampton oddly enough there. So these things can happen within the game. But West Ham, a clean slate. By the Carabao Cup losing out to Chelsea in that semi-final. And then again, 2-0 in both the leagues it seems there. So they can lose in this formation. But the fact that West Ham went all the way in this formation and did all of this, absolutely bonkers. So a bit more of a deeper dive now into the Premier League season. You can see here now, West Ham played 38 games, winning 25, drawing 6, losing 7, scoring 90 goals. They outscored everyone this season. You only conceded 37 goals all season on 81 points. 81 points, such a low tally as well for the Premier League to be won by. I mean, you can see Liverpool 79, Man City 79. So they only narrowly edged them teams to the title. Tottenham, Man U, Brentford had an amazing season, by the way. We've seen already, they got to an FA Cup final. But not only that, they actually qualified for the Europa Conference League as well, finishing sixth in the season. I mean, Chelsea, Arsenal had absolutely poor seasons to the team here as well. And even again, the likes of Everton, who would be normally higher up, of course, in real life, having a bad time right now. Brighton. So it's a weird old season, but you saw West Ham actually win the Premier League. I mean, in terms of goal scorers, no one is really there for them. Paolo Fernandes now is in seventh place here. You have 15 goals, and then Kurt Zuma on 14 goals. You mentioned those set pieces. They are crucial to this formation. So let's dive in then now. Have a look. A bit of a deep dive into this tactic. Starting at the back is the goalkeeper, of course. We have a goalkeeper on superkeeper defend, being told to tackle harder. Fabianski in that role this season. Very good indeed. Of course, he's actually leaving the club, oddly enough, after that. Going over to Wolfsburg, oddly enough. But again, he's won it all at West Ham. So what else does he have to do here? We have Ben Johnson playing that right back this season. He was playing as a wing back on support. He's told to stay wider and tackle harder. Whilst the left back of Emerson, also a wing back on support, being told to stay wider and tackle harder. The centre back pairing of Kurt Zuma and Kihia this season both played as ball playing defenders on defence. Both being told to dribble more, close down more, and tackle harder on both of those players. There you can see there, of course. And we move into that midfield now where we had a DM on defend, a defensive midfielder on defend, being told to tackle harder on the left-hand side and also on the right-hand side. The left-hand side player told not to tackle harder, only one on the right-hand side is told to tackle harder, but both are defensive midfielders on a defend duty. Onto that right-hand side of the pitch, and we had Bakerta playing on the right-hand side this season. He's playing an inverted wing on attack, being told to cross left often, sit narrower and tackle harder, whilst on the left-hand side, Jarrod Barron playing as an inside forward on attack this time, being told to sit narrower and tackle harder. Paolo Fornals came in in that cam position, in that attacking midfield role on attack. Of course, you saw he's got a lot of goals this season. He, again, is also told to tackle harder, whilst the striker, a pressing forward and attack with no additional instructions set, to Samaka, who had a great season as well, of course, getting 21 goals, as you can see there, but he wasn't in the scoring charts in the Premier League. He did a lot more in the cup competitions. So let's dive into the actual instructions then now. We're playing a balanced mentality, and in possession, we're told to play shorter passing, pass it into space, lower crosses, run at the defence, or play with a higher tempo, and play fairly narrow football. Whilst then, in transition, we're telling the keeper to roll it out, distribute quickly, playing with a counter press and counter style, whilst the out of possession instructions then are play of a high press having that much more often on that trigger press of course there prevent short goalkeeper distribution and of course telling your players to get stuck in so that is my ultimate 4 2 3 1 formation it is an absolute bit so you saw there we need stuff with west ham winning the treble we need stuff with valencia the treble with them and of course with bolton getting them promoted we did try with some other teams the likes of napoli benfica who also won league titles and european competitions but thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this tactic of course as we mentioned these simulations these things can go a bit askew sometimes west ham winning all that stuff wouldn't normally happen but for this one simulation, it seems to have worked. It worked well with this tactic. So again, it's worth trying again. I'm actually using it right now on Twitch, on my live stream with Borussia Mönch and Gladbach. He's doing absolute bits over there. Finishing second in the Bundesliga last season and having a very good one in the Champions League and winning the poker. So of course, make sure you come check out the live streams on Monday and Friday mornings at 10 a.m. But thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure if you haven't already subscribe to the channel and give the video a huge thumbs up. It really helps us get found in the algorithm. And let me know in the comment section your thoughts and any other tactics while been working for you this season and again who else you like to see get tested with well i mean i don't mind testing with other teams i can let you know the results down below thank you for watching i'll see you all again very very soon